So today, I'll be talking about developmental networks and mutants. <clears throat> I'll be using the line, the witch, and the wardrobe for um, this developmental network. Um, so the Mogram gene product inhibits the transcription of Aslan. Mogram is the wolf that works for the white witch. Um, and then the beaver's gene product stimulates transcription of the Pevensey children. And the Pevensey children gene product inhibits the action of the Mogram gene. If Aslan is transcribed, then the witch is defeated. So basically in the movie, Mogram, the witch's wolf, tries to prevent Aslan from coming to fight the witch. The beavers guide the Pevensey children, and the Pevensey children kill Mogram. And in the end, if all this goes as planned, Aslan will be able to come and defeat the evil witch. So <clears throat> the developmental path for this, um, for the characters, are that um, the beavers activate the Pevensey children. The Pevensey children inhibits Mogram. Mogram inhibits Aslan, and Aslan inhibits the witch. So now I'm going to be talking about single mutants. So for the first one, the beavers, if the beavers are removed, Aslan does not defeat the witch. Because if the beavers aren't there, they cannot activate the Pevensey children, which means Mogram will intercept Aslan, and so Aslan cannot defeat the witch. Then for the second one, if Mogram is removed, Aslan defeats the witch because Mogram cannot intercept Aslan and then Aslan can block the witch. So for double mutants, um, for the first one, if the beavers and the Pevensey children are removed, Aslan does not defeat the witch because the Pevensey children cannot block Mogram. And if the Pevensey children and the Mogram are removed, Aslan defeats the witch because Mogram cannot block Aslan, so the witch is defeated. Thank you.